Hey everyone, this is Flea, your Lightroom instructor, here with the most exciting uh, update that Adobe has done to Lightroom. Uh, so this is AI local adjustments. There are several. There is um, AI background, people, objects, sky, I may have missed one. We're going to dive into them right now, starting with sky. Okay, so here I've got this image. This sky is probably fine, but we're going to just say that it needs a little less saturation. Uh, so I'm in the develop module. I come over here to the local adjustments, and I have some options. When I choose to add something, I have select sky. So when I do that, it's going to automatically mask my sky. It takes a second. Now, if we look here, there's my sky. It's pretty near perfect. If I wanted to make some uh, adjustments to it, I could click on the mask. I could plus or minus to add or subtract. Um, when I'm choosing those, I can then use the brush. I can use the, the gradient tools, whatever I need to make my additions and subtractions. But we're going to just say that's a perfect mask. And then it looks like I had some weird settings coming in. So I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to reset all my sliders here. Um, and then what we're going to do is we are just going to bring down our saturation. So it's not quite so blue. Um, and maybe we're also going to brighten the sky. Now, I'm not saying this is perfect, but it was two seconds to make that mask. Let's try another one. This is going to be a background. Um, so here's my friend Donna here. I shot her on a white-ish background. I didn't use the best lighting. We were in a hurry. So I'm going to click my mask. I'm going to add the plus. Select background. There we go. Look at that beautiful background selection. Now if I wanted to clean it up, maybe I'll get rid of these hairs that it selected. Uh, but for now, we're just going to go with it. And I'm going to increase my exposure. Maybe I'm also going to increase my whites. Get her just a nice, clean, white background just a couple of seconds to do that. All right, next we are gonna try some of the, um, the auto select subject. So again, we're gonna come in here. Now this one doesn't have any masks yet, so it looks a little different when I clicked on it. It gives me um, the options displayed here instead of in the flyout menu. They're the same options, they just look slightly different. So in this case, we're gonna select subject. It should select the whole group. Yes, it did. Um, it's likely to do a poor job if we look here at missed this guy's hand on the left hand side, uh, missed our whole chicken. We're just going to go with it and pretend it's fine. And again, maybe I want them to be more yellow and have more exposure. Really doesn't matter what you're doing here. The point is to showcase how easy it is to make those masks. Um, we'll do another select subject. This is going to be super useful when you're doing product. Um, this one already has a bunch of masks in it, so we are going to click the plus button again, select subject, and then we're going to not go that far. There we go. We're going to do this, and maybe I want to change the color. I don't know why I would, but there we go. I just made artwork there. Okay, moving on next to the people option. Get myself back into develop mode. Um, same thing. We're going to select... Um, you could select subject and then down here you have people options. I'm going to go for people and we're going to do each one of these individually because one is in sun and one is not. If you do subject, it'll select them both. But we're going to do person two because he's in shadow. And now I can choose his entire person or I can choose to brighten his teeth or uh, in her case, I could darken down her lipstick, anything I want there. But we're going to do entire person this time. We're going to create the mask. And again, we're looking mostly for exposure here. So I'm going to go ooh, way too far. I'm just going to call that. And he's a redhead. So maybe I'm going to give him a little more yellow. See if we can make that pop. Maybe a little saturation. Now he looks okay. I might want to use the plus or minus. But I'm going to go back in now. And I'm going to do her. So I've added one mask already. So now I use the plus up the top. And I'm going to select people. I'm going to choose person number one. I'm going to do an entire person for her as well, although, again, you can choose anything you want. And I'm going to give her a little bit less exposure than I gave him and not all that yellow. Now I have the two of them popping out of that background. Um, if you were to try out some of those smaller options when you select person, you can choose teeth and things like that. What it'll do is it'll make you individual little masks for each of your settings, and then you can choose, let's say, Here's his teeth. Let's say I want them to be even whiter. Maybe I'm going to decrease my saturation all the way and brighten them up more. 
Obviously that looks fake, but it's there as an option. Um, we'll run one more just so you can see that one final time. So I've already got the background darkened down here. Now I'm gonna select my people. It takes a minute to detect the people sometime, thinks there's just one in here, that's because there is. Now in this case, I'm gonna choose her face skin. I'm gonna create the mask and then maybe I'm gonna to try to uh, bring down some of the like imperfections and stuff. Now I like to do that with a little bit of taking down the texture, possibly the tiniest bit of sharpness, but you don't wanna make her look blurry and maybe a little of the clarity. Very subtle there, but now she looks like she has smoother skin. Okay, now moving into auto-selecting object. This one's a little bit different um, in that you, you choose object, but you now have the option to brush your object or to square around your object. It does not automatically select your object. So we're gonna do two. Um, on this first one, I'm gonna use a square. So I'm just gonna go around this dancer and I'm gonna see what happens. That was pretty good. It missed the leg here. I can now add. I'm gonna add with the brush, small brush. And now it's selected my dancer. And again, just for the sake of seeing things, I'm gonna go something wild. So we're gonna change the hue and we're gonna make them pretty dark. Okay, there we go. There's dancer number one. Now we're gonna select another object and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to select with the brush. So instead of choosing that square, you choose the brush. Again, you don't have to be super um, precise. Like with the square, we just made a big square. So we're just gonna make a big blob. That's pretty good. Let's see what it does. Now, it looks like I blobbed a little too far and it grabbed the building. So we're gonna come in with our minus. We're gonna choose brush. And we're gonna brush out these bits of building. Maybe her foot down here too. There we go. Okay. And now we're gonna also change her color to be weird and we're gonna make her super bright. There we go. I never said I was making good work here. Okay, now last one we've got here is your sink. Okay, so here's my brother and my niece. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to select subject. I'm gonna brighten them up and then I'm gonna select background and I'm gonna darken it down. We're gonna keep this real simple. This is not great, but it's fine. Now, I have four images that are basically the same. So I'm gonna select them and I'm gonna sync them. I'm gonna sync both my masks. Now, in the past when I would do this, any time that my camera shifted, my mask would be off. So if we look at this first one, my brother's knee does not touch the edge of the frame. But if we look at this third one, it does. Now, if we get in here and we look at the mask, what you'll see is that because we used AI, the mask actually shifted. So it doesn't have like these weird halos or blobs around it, um, which I think the, the AI masking is very cool. But to be able to then sync it and have that same mask setting go across 2, 10, 200 images is fantastic. All right, so this, like I said, this is the biggest part. This is your um, AI selection tools in the new Lightroom update.